Oh, what's going on everyone? My name is Carlos and today we will be looking at everything new with CarPlay. If you have an iPhone and you've updated to iOS 26, I believe it's called. <laughs> Sorry, they just changed the whole numbering system. Then this is everything new that I could find. And if you could find more, leave it in the comment section below and let us, uh, let us know and let's explore what is new in CarPlay with iOS 26. All right, now the first thing you'll notice is now we have widgets. You have to actually set this up on your phone. You can't set it up in the car as far as I can tell. But if you're on your phone, literally go to CarPlay, select your car, and then you have widgets right here. And then you can add and remove whichever widgets you want. And again, if you don't know this, you can actually customize uh, the placements of the apps in your phone. So everything's under the settings in the phone. But yeah, these are widgets. You can make it look nice with the calendar, uh, weather. Uh, you can have your music. You can have photos. That's Amanda. Shout out to Amanda. <laughs> so yeah, you can just kind of customize these however you want. You can even turn off your lights. Uh, so using the home app. And uh, yeah, this is how I'm customized. But again, once you swipe over, then you get your normal home page and you swipe over again, then you get your normal apps. The other thing that's new, as you can tell, maybe with the apps are very clear. You can actually customize these apps to either be clear, light mode or dark mode down here in the settings. So here under settings, you can actually customize icons. You can make them look like glass. <laughs> you can go to dark mode here, or you can go to the default mode. And in dark mode, you can either always allow, or you can put it on auto. So once it gets dark, um, it will automatically change to dark mode. So we'll go ahead and leave it on auto for now. Now, as you can tell uh, with the new iOS 26 CarPlay, everything looks a little more like I, I want to say smaller, but I guess more redefined, like it's more, I guess, uh, nicer looking. But if you want to go back to having like larger icons, especially here in the home menu, you might have saw that I made a little reel about this. But basically, if you turn off smart display zoom, it will refresh and now everything's bigger. You can actually see it and the icons here are a lot bigger so you can actually touch it a lot easier and the icons here as well are bigger. So if you like it like this, just make sure that setting is turned off. If you don't mind having it a little more smaller and fine, then you can turn that on. Another new thing in the settings menu is now you have live activities. You can turn that on or off. This is good for sports. This is good for, I guess, if you're waiting for something, like if you ordered something, uh, show you the live activity. So basically any apps that use live activities and support CarPlay will show up in the main menu here. Now, besides the widgets and the new settings, you kind of have this new glassy look. Um, it's all part of the iOS 26 look. And on top of that, you kind of have a redesigned menu. So this is messages, just your normal text messages, and everything's a little more floaty. There really isn't a like, I don't know, you have these lines here that kind of separates the messages, but other than that, everything is just kind of just there. <laughs> uh, music is also looking a little bit different. So now you have this little menu bar here and everything just kind of floating. This looks a little bit cleaner. I feel like the messages kind of just look random, but the music app definitely does look cleaner. Radio, and as you can see, the little thing moves just like in iOS 26. So everything is very much based off iOS 26. And uh, yeah, everything is looking good. We can go back home. Maps, maps looks a little different. The only thing I'm disappointed in is if you click on search, it still doesn't have EV chargers. It just has gas stations, cafes, grocery stores, parking lot, hikes. I feel like by now we should have EV chargers in the main search menu. And also I believe the keyboard is brand new the way this looks. Um, so I believe this is a new keyboard. It looks better, types better. Everything about that is better. So redesign keyboard, redesign maps, redesign messages, music. Another cool thing you can do is when you go to messages and uh, let's see what Daniel has to say. Daniel sent a skull emoji. Would you like to reply? You can actually click tap back and you can actually choose an emoji. So we can just be like, ha ha. So that's pretty much everything I could find that's new with uh, iOS 26 CarPlay. Everything's just more redefined, kind of redesigned, and um, I don't know if I would say smoother, but it is more clear. It's nicer to look at, I guess I'll say. I do like things like the music app uh, just looking a lot nicer and the text messages app. It does look nicer. I just wish it had more structure to it. It just kind of looks like everything's floaty. And yeah, this is pretty much all I found uh, exploring 
CarPlay. If anybody else has any tips or anything else new with uh, iOS 26, please let me know. But this is everything I could find with the new CarPlay on iOS 26. Also, bonus note, I do use WhatsApp a lot and uh, my girlfriend does text me in Spanish. They have now updated the audio for the Spanish speaking text lady. So before it was very heavy Spain accent. Uh, now it's more just kind of clear uh, Spanish accent. Like there's no, uh, it, like it doesn't sound like a robot anymore. So it definitely sounds a lot better. So you also might hear that uh, AirPlay is compatible with iOS 26 CarPlay. However, the, the asterisk there is that the, I believe the car manufacturer has to update that. And uh, you know how Hyundai is with their updates. So most likely we're not gonna get it. If, un if Hyundai somehow updates the car to allow that and YouTube up updates their app to allow that, then uh, we will be able to watch videos on here. Now, I've never been a big fan of that idea because of how low resolution the screen is, but I guess having a bigger screen is better than watching it on a tiny phone. Um, but I'll keep you guys posted if I do find out that Hyundai updates it. Um, again, I'm just, I'm not thinking they will. Um, it would be nice, but I don't think they will. <laughs> with all that said, thank you so much for watching. Sorry this was like a short video, but I just wanted to explore with you guys uh, iOS 26 CarPlay. It, is, it does look nice. There are some nice quality of life improvements, but Nothing spectacular, nothing huge. The widgets are cool, but I'm honestly probably never gonna use them. I just set it up today just to show you guys, but yeah, I'm probably never gonna use widgets. You know, I think we're at a point where CarPlay is gonna be kinda overtaken by the, what is it called, CarPlay Ultra or whatever the new version is, where manufacturers have to work with Apple. And we'll see how that goes with Hyundai. Yeah, I don't think any of that's ever gonna happen, but you never know. Uh, with all that said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, sorry I've been, haven't been posting lately, but I will get back to it. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Uh, stay safe out there, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.